What is good YouTube? My name is George. This is a bonus skateboarding video here on my channel. Super grateful that I get to make videos and skate for you guys. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Anyways, this is a highly requested video. This is going to be, in my opinion, the five easiest tricks on the ledge. Now, these are all real ledge tricks. Nothing here is super, super beginners. I think they are five of the easiest real ledge tricks. Maybe even the first five tricks on the ledge that a beginner should learn. Now, of course, I do want to say everybody skates different. Some of these tricks might be super easy for you some might be harder than I'm making them out to seem. And if there's a trick you see your homie do on a ledge that's not in this video, by all means, go ahead and try it. We all have different tricks that are easier for each of us. But I do think every single skateboarder has these little intricacies and different ways that they think about each trick. So with each of these tricks, I'm gonna be sharing with you my wisdom, how I think about the trick, how I think you can land it faster. So hopefully this inspires you to walk away from this video, hit the skate park, find a ledge, and try these tricks. Trick number one is gonna be the backside board slide. Now, board slides are not typically the trick you think of when thinking of ledge tricks, but I definitely think they're the easiest ledge trick. The reason being is because the motion is very, very minimal. In order to get up onto a board slide, you don't have to get both wheels over the ledge. Rather, all you have to do is get your front wheels over the ledge. So even if you have a weak ollie, you can probably get up onto a board slide on a ledge. Now, what I recommend doing is just try to hit the very end of the ledge so you have enough time to get just a little slide, but then you're basically going to be coming right off. Doing a board slide on the ledge is a little bit weird because those front wheels, if they grip on the surface of the ledge, depending on what type of material the ledge is made of, that may just grip and stop you from sliding. But if you're doing the end of the ledge, typically you can get away with this. So what I recommend doing is just a little baby ollie. Don't even level out your board all the way horizontal. Keep it kind of vertical because this makes it way easier to get out. And actually what I do is my whole focus is actually on the back foot. From the second I get on, I'm thinking about putting that back back foot back on the ground in order to land the trick. You put those back wheels down, then you can just turn and land the board slide. Of course, if this one comes easy to you, there's no reason not to try it front side as well. Trick number two is gonna be the backside nose slide. Like the board slide, this one does not involve popping both wheels up and over the ledge. In fact, for the nose slide, not even your front wheels need to get up over the ledge, only your nose needs to get onto the ledge. There's two ways to do the backside nose slide. One is without even popping your board. It's called a slappy nose slide, where you just actually lift your back wheels enough for the nose to reach the ledge, then you shift your weight onto the ledge and begin sliding the nose slide. The other way to do a more proper nose slide is to actually pop your board spin a little bit, land your nose on the ledge, and slide it that way. From what I've observed, a lot of people, they're able to pop and aim their nose on the ledge, but then they just fall right down and their nose slips off the ledge. Once your nose makes contact with the ledge, you actually have to shift your body weight on top of that front leg. That way your nose actually slides and locks all the way into the ledge. So when doing the nose slide, your wheels should be all the way up against the corner. That's how you lock into the nose slide. And as soon as you figure that out, you should just be standing ending up on that nose slide super comfortable. When it's time to get out, you kind of literally just nudge your foot forward. For a lot of people, it can definitely be easier to just go to fakie because you can kind of just plop off the ledge and keep rolling. Now, something that helped me figure out the nose slide is actually starting from a dead on angle. So literally riding perpendicular to the ledge, popping on and stalling on the nose. For whatever reason, this was way easier for me to wrap my mind around. And then you can just subtly increase that angle until you are going at a big enough angle to actually actually slide that nose slide and do it proper. Trick number three, now this is gonna be an important trick that opens so many doors and is the foundation of so many tricks that you're gonna learn in the future. It is the front side 50-50. Quick disclaimer, I think the back side 50-50 is immensely harder than the front side 50-50, but not everyone agrees with me. Some people have a much easier time with the back 50, and I really do think I should have learned back side 50s much sooner. My front side game is still way stronger, so just keep that in mind. And now here's how I think about the front side 50. So I see all types of beginners straight up gunning it, going way too fast trying to learn the 50. And if you're going super fast, trying a trick you're not comfortable with yet, you're gonna mess up your ollie. There's nothing wrong with going 
at a turtle speed. Just go a speed you're comfortable with. Really focus on getting a proper ollie and land right on top of the 50-50. This is how I learned a lot of ledge tricks. Just get comfortable with popping onto the ledge, learning how the lock-in feels, and then try going a little bit faster. With the front 50, you wanna be all the way locked into the ledge, meaning those wheels on your heel side are all the way pressed up against the side of the ledge. It really just feels like you're standing up. There's not much to it other than that. You can cruise on that front 50 forever. You also don't want to ollie up too high and slam down on the ledge. You want to ollie right up over the ledge, but you kind of want to ease into it and put your body weight into the grind. Trust me, this will start making sense when you start trying it. And you definitely want to keep your weight nice and centered, looking straight down on the board, ease that ollie into it, then you're going to be cruising that 50. In terms of getting out, you can either go off the end, which is just like dropping off a curb, or you can pop out early, which I think is pretty easy as well. Something that I take for granted that you may be confused about as a beginner is actually where you put your eyes when you're skating a ledge. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through how I do it. I assume it's the same way for everybody else. But say I'm approaching the ledge for a frontside 50. As I roll up, I'm actually looking right at the coping pretty much the entire time. And when it becomes almost time to pop, the eye line between the ledge and your board actually starts to merge. Right before popping, I actually shift to look at my board. And as you can see, now I can see both perfectly. And I look at it as I pop on to the front side 50, looking straight down at the board, getting onto the ledge nice and easy. Trick number four is the front 50, front side 180 out. If you have a strong 50, it's just kind of really natural to try to front side 180 out of it. You can just put your board on the ledge, stand up there, see how the 180 out feels. It's a really cool feeling trick to learn because it might be that first time you're actually doing a variation out of a ledge trick. And yeah, really, if you're all the way locked into that front side 50, at the end of it, just swing those shoulders, get that back foot around and that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. Since that wheel is locked in, you're pretty safe to go ahead and just pop that front 180 out. Trick number five, man. So in my head, like after all the tricks I've said so far, there is a big jump in difficulty. I think the front 5-0 is pretty freaking hard. Sometimes I still get in my head about it. It's a little bit scary. So basically approaching the front 5-0, I'm thinking front side 50-50. Pop up over the front 50 and then the only difference is I put my back foot down first. So I really do think about it as a two motion trick and I think that can make it much easier. It really is just a front 50 where you're putting your back truck down first. By far the easiest way to do this is the end of the ledge just kind of tap that back truck and let yourself fall off since you're already in the 5-0 you don't have to really do anything to exit the ledge especially if you're doing the very end of it I don't know it, it is a tricky trick but yeah doing the end is pretty easy I actually still think it's hard to 5-0 for a long time out. Shoot, yeah, I think those have been my tips. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. My entire five tricks video playlist, I've done a ton of these types of videos for all different levels of skateboarding. Lots of beginner tricks, so check that out. Link is in the description for that playlist. I'll be seeing you on Friday. Post a video every Friday and a bonus on the last Monday of every month. It's cold, I'm going home. You know it's freezing when literally nobody's here. Going home. You kidding me, dude? Jeez.